Hello there, Aries. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. So let's go into your reading. Let's talk about the first five cards. Um, this is in relations to your love, romance, and um, just the relationship sector overall. For those who are single and um, you know looking, okay, and also for married people, um, what I feel here is really strong fire energy and uh, fire sign. You might be dealing with a fire sign, another Aries, a Sagittarius. Or a Leo and I feel like the Sagittarius vibe with this Wheel of Fortune it is really prominent okay with this Wheel of Fortune here so if you're dealing with a Sagittarius Sun Moon arising um, I feel like there has been a lot of clumsy communication and and um, energy exchange between the two of you okay and the reason I say that is we have the page of rods this is the page of wands so very young energy in the reverse position. So it's like competition, a little bit of jealousy, a little bit of uh, uh, snipping at each other. You know, like the the communication. I feel like is a little was a little bit awkward and clumsy. And when you're around them, they might rattle you. You don't know how to respond. You don't know how to act. You don't know exactly what their intentions are for you and they vice versa don't know how to respond don't know how to act so i feel like the two of you there might have been a lot of attraction but the way in which you handle it is just you know young and clumsy and a little bit awkward so this is moving away into the past and moving forward i see a lot of maturation that's happening over time and um and i feel like a lot of it has to do with you not being so impulsive and taking a little bit of a stance where you kind of, you know, put your guard down, you kind of chill out a little bit and you kind of detach yourself and approach them not from a stance of defensiveness or, um, uh, or offensiveness. So you're rather than going head first and, you know, reaching for them or going straight for them, beelining it for them. I feel like you're playing it cool. You're being a little bit more relaxed. And so the communication and the energy exchange between you and them, it's a lot more harmonious. So we have here the Knight of Rods. This is somebody that is, you know, um, they're very easygoing, carefree, very exciting, very attractive, possibly different from you, you know, culturally, religiously, um, linguistically. So it's somebody that hails from a foreign land or from a, a place where their values are different, their beliefs, their worldviews are very different from you. But this is a very nonchalant energy. They don't judge, they don't tell people, you should do this, you should do that. They don't impose their belief systems on other people. And I feel like if you are dealing with another fire sign, letting, even though you know you're, you both are fire, I feel like there might be some cultural differences. So letting the other person kind of be them, while you focusing on what you need to do rather than preaching but um, being a lot more accepting being a lot more open that's going to be very crucial for you to get the relationship off the ground okay um, i see two people here that have a lot of attraction towards one another but i feel like one person is very very close off one person is definitely interested there's mutual attraction and uh, one person is a little bit more closed off here with this Four of Pentacles. This is sort of like um, not really trusting the other person's um, not really trusting the other person's um, agenda. Feeling like the other person might not be completely straightforward. Feeling like they have ulterior motives. So I, I feel almost like. Do you like me for my financial resources, or do you really like me uh, for who I am? Okay, I, I see you questioning that and I don't see like paranoia, but I feel like you have done, dealt with a lot of young energy or you have, you know, gotten involved in relationships in the past where the people were not really great or nice people. And so some of you, because of that, you're kind of holding back, you're kind of more skeptical and that's fine. But I feel this trepidation here about getting involved with new people because you're also very fearful of commitment and so you're just like if i get involved with them is that really going to detract me from my work my security my financial resources 
Is it going to also affect you know the way in which I spend my free time? So I see somebody clamming up or not ready to open up because of fear of commitment, because of fear that they're going to have to. Uh, reorganize their life around the relationship partner, and they're not really prepared to do that. I see some somebody. A lot of good things are opening up for them. Major financial windfalls. It could be you or your、um, love interest or your partner. Major new opportunities that are coming into the picture for them. So I feel like Sagittarius,、uh, strong Aquarius that you're dealing with. So Sag. So fire signs in general, but strong Sagittarius, strong Aquarius, people that you're dealing with, where the world is opening up for them, where you know they're they're kind of like、um, very elated because of the financial prosperity, because of at this point in their life they're healed, they're feeling really good. They're also possibly wanting to be on their own. They're wanting to be single. They're wanting to even play the field. And so if you're getting you know this、um, kind of Th- this energy about them clamming up is mainly because they're not really sure what to do. There are a lot of changes happening in their lives, and they're not really sure if they're ready to commit. And I do see a very strong commitment phobic type of an energy coming from somebody you're dealing with or from you. I'm also sensing as well somebody is coming towards you if you are in a relationship. You're trying to preserve your relationship, so you're just like. I'm going to admire you from afar. I'm going to, you know, look at you and be attracted to you and enjoy this、uh, physical attraction that we have. But it's going to be from afar because I don't want to risk losing all the good things that are happening in my life by dabbling in this affair where I feel like it might not give me that stability. So. I feel like many of you are very、uh, security oriented for this week, and you might have, you know, really strong attraction between you and another person, and you might as well have to work with them in a work environment. You might feel really, you know, really connected to them, but I feel like there's this、um, one person's in the in a relationship, and the other person's aware of it, so they're not really opening up. To you know, wedge themselves and be a third party, or they're not down with being the homewrecker. They're not down with getting involved and and be seen as the other woman, the Mister or the Mistress. So I feel like that energy coming in, and so there's a lot of attraction. There's a lot of hopefulness for between you and your significant other, or between you and the person that you are、um, crushing on. Um, I definitely feel somebody coming towards you, and I feel like you're kind of、uh, not sure about their motives. Okay, so that's just what I'm feeling here. For those who are in coupled relationships,、um, I see the two of you joining your assets together. This is a card about power, being able to manifest a lot of financial security, hanging on to your money and your resources, possibly you know deciding, hey,、um, let's have children, and you know saving up and things like that, saving up for a rainy day, saving up for home repairs, doing, making a lot of like practical calculations to as a couple save up so that you can buy something or make some big purchases or even save up for your financial security in the future. Okay, so it's a Really beautiful energy.、Uh, in terms of other areas in your life, what I feel here is this is a really good card: positive reception, career advancements, having promotions, or dealing with、um, working in an environment where you're kind of like on center stage. You're pro- possibly doing a lot of presentations. You're possibly being sought after because of your ability to be like a. Consultant,、uh, an advisor, or somebody that you know generates money on their own because of the skills and the advice, and the solid advice that they bring to the table. I see a lot of people working, doing a lot of presentations, doing a lot of financial consultation as well, and you can even be that financial consultant. So the if you're working on a contract or sales basis, I see a big boost in sales and big boost in、uh, income. Uh, for many of you, there might have been a situation that you have left behind, like a work environment that was kind of、um, cutting away at your ability to be yourself. This is like 
separation. So there might have been, you know, some people that left the work environment finding out news that somebody is leaving at the very last minute, and they didn't. You know,、um, there's no contingency plan as to who's going to take over for them, or there's no、uh, contingency plan as to all the work that they've left behind. Who's going to take it, take care of it, and, and you know, take over? So I feel like there might be a situation where. Um, you might have to handle the workload of somebody that has left, or that has retired, or that has、um, recently, you know, changed jobs. So they're leaving behind work, and you're taking on、um, the mantle, and you're going to be able to work your magic. And basically, the the work itself, I see like a high level of visibility associated with it, and I also feel like. You have the skills and the competency to get the work done, but there's still issues when it comes to、um, going up the chain of command and following, you know, the the proper channel so that you are doing work the way that the supervisor of that other person wants it, rather than the way your own supervisor or your whatever it is that you, however you want to do it. Just make sure, like following the chain of command, is what I'm seeing here with the emperor. Somebody is、uh, seeing the work that you do. Somebody is very, very appreciative, and they also like what they see in terms of your performance, in terms of your ability to, you know, get things done. And、um, they also feel as well that you make things happen. That whatever you touch. It, it becomes like a green light, so they're really, really impressed by the ease and the speed in which you get things wrapped up, finalized, and done. So they see you as a major, major asset to this organization, this company,、um, wherever you're working. So they see you as a really good employee. They're also. We have three of swords as well as the seven of swords. This deals with sneakiness. This deals with behavior that is not completely above board. So if you're doing this to kind of finalize plans, you want to be very careful because I feel like、uh, it's being looked at closely by a supervisor, a manager, or somebody that is above you. So be above board in all your dealings. If this is being done to you, there is going to be some. Um, I feel like it, it's things are being rectified. So if this is being done to you, if you know somebody left and just dumped a bunch of work on you, then I feel like the work is going to get distributed, and then you know you're going to be treated fairly, and you're not going to be,、um, you're not going to take it lying down, nor will people allow it to happen to you. So you have some strong protection in the work environment, and they're going to help you manage and monitor or manage the work that you do, and they're going to monitor your progress to make sure that you know. You're able to achieve, okay? So good energy overall. Be be careful about reviewing so much of your plans to coworkers. I'm also sensing, you know, keep your ideas close to your chest. And then I'm also sensing you have like、um, good people, higher ups that you can count on, okay?、Um, I'm gonna leave it at that, and I'll see you guys next week. Take care.